Marine predators are very challenging to study. They're very rare, they're highly dispersed, they're very mobile, and the ocean is incredibly vast. So it's always been a challenge to be in the right place at the right time. And what Pisivore does is it allows us to cover long, long distances very efficiently. We can literally just put an autonomous vehicle in the water and it can travel 100 to 200 miles and do this work for us while we're sitting on shore. My name is Jared Figurski. I'm an Ocean Observatory Engineer in the Department of Marine Operations at Ambari. This is the Pisivore camera system. Pisivore is unique in that it actually has an aft-facing camera and it has an attractor on the back, and so it brings predators in. So instead of fleeing from the front of a vehicle, they actually are attracted to the back. I spent a lot of time fishing, and it's this sort of same concept where we're trying to attract marine predators. So it was from there that I sort of got this idea. The name Pisivore literally means fish eater. So that's what we're studying. We're studying the marine predators that are fish eating. Uh, and that includes salmon and tuna, marine mammals like sea lions and dolphins, and uh, some that we didn't even expect, like diving seabirds. So we were seeing common murres diving down at 100 feet below the surface. It was exciting to see not only these marine predators, but we're also seeing the prey. We're seeing schools of northern anchovy and these really are the lifeblood of, of Monterey Bay. You have these upwelling processes that create all this productivity, and then the anchovies come in to feed on it. It's really that the predators then follow the prey. Recently, I got to witness a shark attack on a sea lion in real time. It certainly pulled on the heartstrings, but seeing that shark attack proved that the Mako sharks were in fact in the area, and then a week later, our of our camera actually detected two mako sharks. Marine predators can serve as really important indicators of ocean health. So to preserve these species, we actually need to know a lot more about them. Hi. Hey, Colleen. One of the amazing things about Embari is just all of the in-house expertise that we have. Nobody can know it all, so I rely heavily on my peers here. A good example, on the Pisivore camera, we saw this really interesting sort of a scum line. It was like a film that we didn't recognize. And so I brought it back to Ambari, where I was able to find people that actually knew what that material was. And it turns out it was sort of a rare event of larvations, a type of zooplankton that were spawning based on sort of lunar cycle. And the only way we could figure that out was because we actually had that in-house expertise. Working at Bari for me is not just a job. It's something that I love to do. I love being on the water in my free time. I have my own boat. And it's something that I also think is really important. Oh, there was a humpback behind you. <laughs> I've always been committed to ocean conservation, but now as a father of a two-year-old, I realize that we really have a responsibility to leave a legacy of clean and sustainable oceans.